Hey guys, it's Wisdom Wednesday and I am here with part two of why oils. Okay, so last week we talked about um, our story and how we joined Young Living and or I should say why we joined Young Living. And um, today we're gonna actually dive into some of the oils, okay? So hopefully you're ready for that. I am calling this the terrific trio, okay? So a lot of people say, you know, dynamic duo, but these are three that we're gonna talk about. So these are the terrific trio. Okay, so when you get your kit, this is what it comes like. Okay, I'm gonna have to slide this back in here. Okay, this is what it looks like. Did everybody get a box like this? Like, it's so pretty. Okay, some of you may have joined like before they actually launched this beautiful thing, but now it's here and this is what everybody gets and it's it's awesome. Okay, so you're just gonna slide this little thing off. Actually, let me tell you something really quick about this. Do you see that beautiful picture right there? That is the Lavender Farm in Mona, Utah. And Tony and I were actually able to visit this farm back in July, no, I'm sorry, June of 2016 when it looked just like this. It was gorgeous, beautiful. If you ever have a chance to go to the farms, any of the farms, you definitely want to do it. It's like amazing. Okay, so you're just gonna slide this off and then you're going to have this little beautiful box, hey Sarah, and you're just gonna open it and there's 10 of your oils. Now there's another one on the bottom, but we're not gonna talk about that one today. So we're gonna talk about three of the oils that are actually in here today. We are gonna talk about lavender, lavender, um, lemon, and peppermint, okay? So there's a reason why these oils are considered a awesome trio, our terrific trio. These oils right here, y'all, seriously are what helped me step away from years of using um, stuff that helped with seasonal issues. Um, and I was able to stop purchasing that and use these. Now I only use them when I need to use them and my body is actually doing fantastic. And so um, I love these three. These three, my son is in Colorado. Some of you guys know that. He's actually up there with Sarah and he's been suffering with some allergy, ah, some sinus issues. <laughs> He doesn't have some allergy issues. He has sinus issues. Um, up there, wow. This is awesome because I'm live. So these three have been his friend. Wow, they've been his friends. Okay, so we're just gonna dive right in. Um, it's gonna be one of those days, I can already tell. All right, so the number one that we're gonna talk about is lavender. Lavender is fantastic for a lot of different things, not just seasonal sinus problems. It is, of course, we know lavender as being super relaxing. So if you struggle with um, moments of anxiousness or um, just feeling out of whack, or maybe your kids need a little bit of calming down and some focusing help, lavender is great for that. Lavender is actually one of um, Tony's, I used to say it was, I still do most of the time say to, it's Tony's favorite oil, but he actually now has like several. Um, so this is still like top in his book because of the fact that it was such a life changer and lifesaver when we actually joined Young Living. So it is fantastic for all kinds of skin issues. It is great. It's actually called the Swiss Army Knife of Essential Oils because when in doubt, you can use lavender and you're probably going to get some help for whatever you're struggling with. So we use lavender every single night in our diffuser at this time. I literally, I rotate out what I diffuse, but for the last couple of weeks, I've been diffusing lavender, cedarwood, and vetiver at night, and y'all, like, 
I am sleeping so hard. It's amazing. It's awesome. So we put it in our diffuser. We also put it on the bottoms of our feet at night. It just really helps you to relax and pull you into sleep. Tony will actually put it all over his beard and his mustache and breathe it in because he loves it that much. So you can use lavender for so many different things. If you've used lavender or you use lavender on a continual basis, you should actually comment on here what you use it for. One thing that we use this for too is for our grandson. He is just turned a year old and he is definitely um, responsive to lavender. It helps him to calm right down if he's having a fussy moment. Okay, the next L is lemon. This little trio right here is nicknamed LLP. So if you ever see anybody say I use LLP, it's lavender, lemon, and peppermint. Um, lemon is lemon oil. It smells just like lemons. It is amazing. I love the smell of all the citrus oils, but I love lemon. Lemon is a happy oil. Lemon is very uplifting to the mood. So if you're feeling blah, blase, lemon oil is great. Um, I love to actually do this in my classes that I teach. I will put a drop of lemon in everybody's hands and I will put have them inhale that lemon oil. And it just helps them to be happier, it helps them to relax, and it helps with memory and it helps with focus. So I want them to be able to remember what I'm saying and I want them to be able to focus on what I'm saying. So if you have lemon oil handy, you may wanna grab it really quick. Lemon oil and all of our citrus oils are actually cold pressed from the rind. So a lot of times people will use like orange oil to help whiten their teeth and we'll get asked, well, does that mess with the enamel on your teeth? No, it does not. And the reason is because it's actually cold pressed from the rind. There is no acidic properties in the oil. So your enamel is just fine. It's just whiter. And um, so know that there's no acid in this. It actually helps to alkalize the body. The other thing about um, citrus oils is that they do break down petrochemicals. So petrochemicals are something that we don't want in our systems, okay? But they're in everything. They're in this little plastic container right here. They're in the little plastic bags. They're in so much, like this is plastic right here. Petrochemicals are in everything. They're everywhere. And so a lot of times we will actually accidentally ingest them or they go onto our body and all of your citrus oils go in kind of like Pac-Man and start eating up those petrochemicals so they don't affect your liver and they don't affect your major organs and cause major issues. You should look up, go Google um, effects of petrochemicals on our bodies and see what it says, it's pretty crazy. So that said, when you're using lemon oil in your water or any other citrus oil, you want to make sure that you use glass only or like a Yeti cup or something along those lines because it will break down plastic. It will break down uh, styrofoam. It breaks it down very fast. Um, one cool illustration that we um, used to do at classes until I just decided it wasn't worth the anxiety was um, I would have a balloon and I would blow it up and I would drop a drop of lemon oil on the balloon and it would pop immediately. Well, I'm not a fan of popping balloons and so and sometimes like it would take forever for the lemon oil to actually come out of the bottle so I was like Eh, I'm not doing that. Just the anxiety. I needed lavender and stress away after I was through with that. So I stopped doing that. But if you want to do that for a little experiment, go for it. The other thing you can do is take a styrofoam plate, put your um, lemon oil on it, and watch it eat through that styrofoam. So it's pretty amazing how it eats through those petrochemicals and cleanses them from our bodies, which is what we want, okay? The other thing with that, let me throw this in there. I have people ask me, well, if it does that to plastic or styrofoam, what is it actually doing to my body? Okay, y'all, you're not made of plastic and you're not made of styrofoam. So that's your answer. It cleanses your body. It cleanses your body from the petrochemicals. All right, so there you go. All right, 
The next oil is peppermint. Peppermint is amazing. Um, I've been told I say that word a lot, so I try to say it now. Peppermint is fantastic for waking you up. It is fantastic for um, driving in other oils. Um, so if you're like really wanting to push in an oil into your system, you can actually put peppermint on top of that and it will push it in. Peppermint is considered a hot oil, but it's actually cold. So um, if you're using it topically, you will have a little tingly effect and it is cold. I love that. If you don't love that, you can put coconut oil, you can put olive oil, you can put jojoba oil. Just use a carrier oil and it will dilute that um, tingling feeling right away. Um, we love peppermint for all things sinus. Okay, so last night out of the blue, I started getting a little stuffy nose. I don't know what that was about. I just got my little nasal inhaler. I think it must still be on the table over there. Um, put me a few drops of eucalyptus and a few drops of peppermint and it will just open you right up. It's awesome. The other thing that we love using this for is hot flashes. Okay, so women, when you are dealing with hormonal changes and you have those moments, as Gail Down says, um, tropical, what she calls them, mini tropical vacations, peppermint is awesome to just cool you down. I love using this before I run and after I run to help just cool my body. This morning we ran almost five miles. It's 77 degrees outside and 98% humidity. Blech. So you definitely want something that's gonna cool your body down. And peppermint is fantastic for that. You can put some in your water to help with digestive issues. Um, instead of sucking on a peppermint that has a ton of sugar in it, you can just put some in your water. It also is the best breath freshener you will ever find. Seriously. A drop of this on your tongue and all bad breath gone. The other thing that this is great for, there's a lot of things that this is great for. The other thing that this is great for though is head discomfort. So if you're just feeling, most of the time I feel like I get that when I'm just tired and so I'll just put it here on my crown. Okay, you wanna avoid the eye, -ish, eye area. If you do get it in your eyes, do not put water. Go put a carrier oil. We have a pump on our um, coconut oil bottle and we'll just like squirt it right in the eye. There for a while, Tony, every time he would get into the peppermint, he would get it in his eye. Like, it was crazy. And so he would just squirt that coconut oil right in his eye. So um, you could just put it here on your crown, on the back of your neck, and I'll even put a drop on my tongue and push the tongue to the roof of the mouth where there's a pressure point there. And it will usually always kick that head discomfort and it's just fantastic. So peppermint, look it up. There's a gazillion and one uses for them, but all three of these together are like amazing for seasonal sinus issues, okay? So look it up, lemon, lavender, peppermint essential oils, they're fantastic. That is your Wisdom Wednesday. This is part two of Why Oils, and I hope that you are actually going to use these for something that I mentioned. Let me know what you do. All right, bye.